Good morning. This is Ronaldo Garcia, Executive Pastor at Anchor Point Church, with our daily devotional for Wednesday, May 27, 2020. The subject of my devotional for this morning is praying through the Psalms. I believe that praying through the Psalms is an excellent way to pray. The Psalms are already prayer, prayer said to poetry and music, and that, but it is the inspired Word of God. What better way to pray than directly praying the inspired uh, Word of God? And the Psalm that I want to <clears throat> pray through this morning is uh, the first three verses of Psalm 5. Okay, so let's pray. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. Amen. Amen. I love this uh, uh, version, this King James Version version of the Psalm 5 for two reasons. First of all, when I was uh, first a Christian, uh, we used to sing this psalm, and we used to sing the uh, King James Version of it. So I'm familiar with it, and it brings back uh, sweet memories of uh, those days back in the mid-70s, 1970s. The other reason is I love the way it closes and says, and will look up you know and looking up has been the subject uh, or the general uh, the general subject of our of our uh, devotionals throughout this whole season that we haven't been able to uh, meet together because of the uh, covid-19 uh, pandemic we're looking up and that's exactly what the psalmist is expressing here is he says i am looking up i am giving you my words i consider my meditation Hearken unto the voice of my cry. He acknowledges as his king and his God. And uh, he, he acknowledges that God will hear his prayer, okay? As he looks up, he looks up to heaven because he is praying uh, to heaven uh, where God resides. <clears throat> and along with that, I want to pray through uh, some issues related to uh, what we've been experiencing uh, uh, since, uh, since early March. The, uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, I have several prayers that I want to go through. Again, after each prayer, I'm going to pause for a moment. And during that pause, you can say to yourself, uh, consider my words, consider my meditation, uh, dear Lord. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, the Lord's loving kindnesses never cease. Something to acknowledge the prayer that uh, we've been praying, okay? Okay, so let's pray. For researchers working to develop medicines and medical procedures to cure patients infected with COVID-19 and an effective vaccine to prevent further infections, God, we ask that you grant them the wisdom and skills to provide an effective cure and an efficient vaccine. For churches, as we begin congregating again after spending time apart, God, we ask that our limitations with regards meeting size and inability to sing would not be a hindrance to our worship. For divisions in our country and in our churches over how best to address the restrictions we continue to face, God, Bless our country and our churches. Make us a people of love, wisdom, and unity as we shed light on the truth and to serve as the preserving salt of the earth. For first responders and frontline health care workers, especially in epicenters of infection, God, reinforce their ranks and strengthen them with supernatural energy. For first responders and frontline health care workers, Lord, we want to lift up the following people who are either members of Anchor Point Church or who are loved ones of someone who uh, attends Anchor Point Church. 
We want to lift him up to you by name. We pray that you protect them from becoming infected. We pray that they would apply their skills well to help those who are, who are sick and in the development of medicines and a vaccine, God. We pray for these people. Chris and Kaylin Clifford. <clears throat> Taylor and Jessica Clifford. Mel, Debbie, Caleb, and Josh Brown. Jolyn Cooley. Jennifer Montoya. Clay Holderman. Anita Southard. Mark and Holly Smith. Gabriel and Ashley Garcia. Stephen and Carmen Garcia Russell. Angelina Nunez, CJ Alexander, Seth Muller, Tammy Zack, Cassandra Bourgeois, Deborah Green, John Panther, David Apodaca, Linda Silva, Samantha, Yasmin Gonzalez, Joy Gamash, Nancy Querubin, Ryan D'Souza, Kelly Norton, Mike Kraft, Meredith Austin. Thank you, Lord, that you give ear to our prayers and that you hearken unto the voice of our cry. You are a good God. Amen. Amen. Hope to see you this Sunday as uh, as we reopen. Uh, that would be May 31st with a message by Pastor Dan on Pentecost Sunday. See you then. Bye.